Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Essence Water with a pH level of 10. This is $2.10 from the grocery store Lucky Grocery Store. Next up is Harmless Harvest to Harmless to Coconut Water. This is one of the most expensive waters I've ever tried. Um, that's because this was about $8 for this water. It's because I'm in a hotel right now and this was purchased you know, from the hotel itself. I'm guessing if you buy this at a store, it's going to be much, much cheaper because you know, hotel is overcharged for everything. For some reason, I'm stupid and paid eight dollars for this water. But this is, you know, it, it says it's supposed to be a really good water. It says it's good for the environment. It's good for like people. The coconut water is directly from the source. Like it just goes straight into the bottle with, um, you know, no altering it. It's organic and it's not modified. And a cool thing that they say on the bottle is if it is a different color, don't worry about that. Some coconut waters alter their color so it's consistent, but this company does not. So I'm just gonna open this up, and because you can't really see it, I'm going to pour it into a cup so you can see which color it is. I'm colorblind, but what do you guys think that is? What color? Oh, you can actually see like small chunks in the bottom. It's kind of gross, but it's kind of like good, I guess, that it's natural. Like if I saw those little chunks there, um, in a regular bottle of water, I would definitely not drink it. I mean, it makes sense, like, for coconuts to come in different colors. There is a, there's a slight smell, I mean, like kind of barky. I guess kind of like coconut. You know, I think most coconut waters are like sweet. I'm not getting really a really sweet smell from this, but I'm just gonna taste it. Here we go. Oh yeah, there is there is a sweet taste to it. Just no sweet uh, smell. Kind of like an aftertaste of like like um I don't know like a like a campfire <laughs> aftertaste. Like kind of like a barky a woody aftertaste to it. It's costing me about a dollar per sip. <laughs> this, I mean, this is good. I'm going to give this a thumbs up, but, um, <laughs> I don't really like it because I don't know. It, it does say it's water. It says, you know, the biggest letters is water. But I don't know if it's really water though because it has 120 calories in this bottle. It says it has like 80 milligrams of sodium. And um, that's all bad for water. So let's just try this one, the essence water. <laughs> Before I open this, let me just say this label is so weird. Like, they put the nutritional information on the back of the label, so you have to look through the water to see the nutritional information. The light from the water sort of alters the way it looks. So you, and it's like, it's on a reflective back part too. So it makes it even harder to see what the nutritional information is. I've seen people put, I've seen companies put their logo on the back sticker. But I've never seen the nutritional information, which people actually might want to read and might want to actually see. So it's kind of weird. Um, pH level of 10 is actually very high, though. So, you know, compliments to them for that. Let's try it. No, no smell for this one. Very similar to the Echo Water, which I reviewed last time, my last review. It is neat how the, the label is metallic, like on the logo too. 
Um, like this one, look how, much, look how much text is on this bottle. It's almost like reading a book. This is for people who really want to know about their coconut water. Like I think these are kind of like opposites. You know, have you ever heard the saying, everything in moderation? I think both of these companies need to learn that saying, everything in moderation. Because this one has a little bit too much text. Like, it's like so much to read on this bottle. And this one has a little bit too little. Like, this this logo has um, just a random flower on the front label. And then, I guess, other than the name Essence, there's really no explanation of why there's a flower there. Because it doesn't taste like a flower. Like, there's no smell of a flower that, like... I mean, why is it called Essence? That's a weird, that's a weird name. Yeah, both of these get a thumbs up for me. They're both good waters. Normally I don't drink the waters cold, but this one, I just, I, I just bought this from the, the hotel. And um, it was refrigerated, and so doing a cold today. Yeah, you can see those little like chunks in there. It's kind of weird. They almost look like like little bugs or something in the bottom of the cup. So I'm going to say that the winner is the Essence Water, because it's a more watery water. Like, there's no calories in this, there's no sodium. You know, it tastes good, and it just, they, they both taste good. But it's, you know, more pure. I, I don't like water that has any color to it at all. This, this talks about it being pink sometimes. I like clear water. So, there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a nice day.